So today I thought I would show you how to recover a failed drive, install a new one and re-image it using a Cronus True Image. So if you had a failed drive and you needed to buy a brand new drive, but you have a backup, I'm gonna show you how to get that done today. So stick around. Okay, so you're gonna have to excuse a couple other coughs I'm gonna have here and there because I'm still feeling a little under the weather even though it's been a couple weeks. So I may cough a couple times on you. Um, bear with that again. So I have my AMD system here. It usually hangs off the back of the, or on the wall behind me here. Uh, whether it's Intel or AMD, doesn't matter for what I'm demonstrating today. I set up a monitor here so you can get a good look at exactly what I'm doing as I'm doing it. And <clears throat> another thing you're going to need, uh, a bootable Acronis disk, or uh, not disk, but thumb drive. And you're going to need, I have 2022 on here. This is to allow us to do the restore, make another backup, or do a clone. And of course, I'm hoping you have a backup because otherwise this is not going to work. So I'm hoping you already have a backup somewhere, uh, whether it was on another drive in your computer or um, stored maybe in a safe or in a safe location, off-site, wherever it might be. Now, if it's in a cloud, if you back up to a Cronus cloud, now you're going to have to install Windows first then you're gonna have to uh, log into your account and do the restore kind of that way. Um, but this is not for that. This is if you have another drive located somewhere in your house um, or uh, off-site somewhere physically like this. So whether it's on this, a mechanical hard drive um, or another M.2 in an M.2 enclosure. Uh, it can be SATA or NVMe. It doesn't matter. The backup doesn't matter what it's on. It's just, you know, it's just uh, um, the speed of it is going to matter when it comes to uh, re-imaging. That's all. So you're going to be safe if you have the backup. So I went ahead prior to this. I did my backup. I also uh, cleaned this uh, drive using a uh, CMD command. <coughs> And basically I wiped the drive clean so there's no more partitions on it and it's kind of like it just came out of the factory. A little, not quite, it's not completely clean. In other words, there's bits and pieces of information but it's kind of scrambled and it's it's got no more partitions on it anyway. So it would take uh, a data recovery center um, an extreme time to recover this, I think. So with that all said, let's get started here. And I'm just going to show you, I'm going to install this and we're going to put it right here. <clears throat> I got, there's only one other M.2 spot here and there's nothing in the spot, but we're going to go ahead and uh, put ours right here, back in here. I'm just going to uh, put the screw in. And now we're going to turn this thing on. And we're starting to spin here. I just want to show you that it's going to have no boot, no boot device. So I just want to, so right there, it says select a pop, proper boot. So there's nothing on that, zero. So um, what we're going to do is shut this back off. we are take our Acronis true image, stick it in any, uh, any port. Uh, 2.0 is kind of the safest. It's not going to go any faster. So, I'm trying to see here. I stick it in this one here. <clears throat> um, now we're going to turn it back on. And we're just going to wait for this. Uh, so, we have option one is what we need. 
Now our Kronos true image is actually loading. Now I'll make a separate video on how to make that drive. Uh, but for right now, that's what you're going to need. Now, so long that you actually just have a Kronos or a, a backup, you can actually hire somebody to do this part. So um, at least you would have your backup. That's what you need. You can do backups like this, but I do my backups. I have a Kronos. I pay for it. Um, so I do it while the computer's up and running. And <clears throat> look, it doesn't look anything like this with uh, a Kronos. So when it's when it's uh, a piece of software on your computer that's what i mean so i'm looking at a screen to this so it's kind of funny um let's see if i can do it without peeking around here <coughs> excuse me okay so the next step sorry missing a step here so the next step is uh plugging this in now you want to plug this into a 3.0 port or higher so we're going to plug it in right to there. Give this about I don't know, five to ten seconds ish to, uh, you know, um, turn on activate or not activate, but turn on and recognize that the, there is a drive there. <clears throat> so now you can either go to recovery here or there's a, a recovery up here. So we're going to. There's a drop down here. Now we can do just files. If you're just missing one file that got deleted, um, or you could do the disk and partitions. So we want disk and partitions because it's as if our drive completely failed. We had to physically uh, either go to the store and buy one, or we had to order one online through somebody else's computer. If we have a second computer or on your phone, <clears throat> that's the example I'm providing you today or the demonstration on how to do is if your drive completely failed. So we're going to go to disk and, uh, partition recovery. And I don't know why it's not I'm looking for, I don't know why it's not seeing it. Oh, let's see here. Let's do, maybe it's in the spot that it's in. Let's uh, cancel. Let's just try another spot. And let's see if that works. Sometimes uh, they can be a little funny. That's only sometimes. There we go. Hey, I, I don't know what it was with the other one, but all we did was drop it down uh, one USB port and now it recognizes it. So I named it because this is an older drive that's or a older SSD M.2 that's in here. It's a 960 Evo by Samsung. Still performs great, just like it did, uh, but it's only 250 gigabytes, so I just keep it here for testing purposes only, and I keep Windows 10 on it, and that's it. So what we're going to do is select this. <clears throat> we're going to go to Next. Now we want to recover the whole disk and partitions. We're not going to do just some files or some folders. We want the whole entire thing. And by doing this, whatever your desktop looked like, it's going to look exactly the same way after this. Nothing is going to change. Um, so let's see. Yeah, that's fine right there. Oh, we have to actually click this little guy right here. So you select the date. <coughs> if you had multiple uh, backup uh, iterations. So we're just going to select the time. And you can see how our next uh, um, button pop or uh, illuminated. Um, so now we're going to select disk three because this is what it sees. So this is what to recover. And you want the uh, entire disk right there of our, um, for, for our recovery. We're going to go to next. Now, at this point, Acronis is looking for any drive that's connected to the motherboard that it can back up to. That's what it's looking for right now. This can take a couple of minutes, depending on how many things you have plugged in. 
So it's actually looking at the empty drive that's not initialized. It's looking at our Acronis um, uh, USB stick. It's actually even looking at the uh, current drive with the backup on it. It's looking to see what it would think that you would want to put on. And it's usually pretty smart, especially if you only have one drive. It should only give us one option. Um, I mean, it may give us more, but it should only give us one option uh, to restore to a drive. So if we be patient, this should change here momentarily. <clears throat> okay, so as you saw that popped up, from the time I stopped talking, it was probably another 15 seconds. And look at this, we have Disk three, not initialized. That's because when I took that one out, I put it in my She-Hulk build and I wiped it out. I actually per performed a clean uh, method on it to where it looks like it's not initialized anymore. So <clears throat> that's our 250 gig, even though it shows 232. There's some overhead there that it calculates and <coughs> yakety yak. Uh, that is the MVME. We do want to proceed with that one because you can see these other two disks. See, it sees, uh, uh, sees the sand disk, and it also sees the, I don't know what that one is. I don't know why. Oh, okay, sorry. So the top one is actually our, our, our backup sand disk. I don't know why it doesn't say sand disk, but the other one is just our USB. So clearly we want the MVME, the 960 Evo. So we're gonna hit next. This is just giving you a summary of what it's going to do. Um, you can look at it and then hit proceed. Now, there's a couple things I want to tell you about this part. Just walk away, but um, depending on how much data you have is going to depend on how long this is going to take. We just have Windows installed, uh, so it's not going to take too long probably about 15-ish minutes, uh, I'm kind of guessing. But um, the thing behind this is, if you were to go out and buy yourself a new drive, put it in, install Windows, get all of your updates to Windows done, get all your drivers installed, get all those up to date, whatever you gotta do, download all your programs that you used to have, Activate all your programs that you used to have. Um, get all of your settings the way you had them or the way you're, you like them now. Get your background picture up the way you liked it, which kind of includes within the settings of Windows. And I think that's about it, if I'm not mistaken. But all those things will total up to hours hours of work on your end where if you have a backup you're talking about moments after you get that physical drive and you install it on your motherboard or connect it to your motherboard you're talking even if it took a half an hour to an hour to rebuild your your terabyte your two terabyte your four terabyte whatever you have in here it's going to take so much less time and uh, you're going to be happy that you have that backup done. So get your backups done. So I'm going to let this go. Now there's a couple options down here below. You can restart the computer uh, when the operation is complete. You can. Um, I typically don't. I don't check these. Uh, I don't even do the shutdown. I just leave it go. That way when I come back, I can see that it succeeded. It'll have a big big message that'll say, you know, succeeded or something like that. And uh, uh, then I just click OK, and then I just turn the power supply off. I unplug my backups, my USB, hit the power supply back on, turn it back on, and boom, you're ready to go. So let me just, I'll step away and I'll keep this running, but I'll fast forward through this part. And that way you can see about how long it takes um, up to this point, I'm going to start my phone right now, and I'll see exactly how long it takes from this moment on.
there it is. So we have about 12 and a half minutes from the time I started this. And you can add in, <coughs> go back in the video and add in whatever the total is that I start talking when this thing started. Two, three minutes. It's about 15 minutes. Now, that was just with simply just windows on it. But even if it took a half an hour, big deal. Now you have all your stuff on it. So from here, <coughs> you don't even have to click this OK, but I do. From here, you can just turn off your PC. We're going to unplug our Cronus and our backup. Now we're going to turn our PC back on. I just have this little thing here that's hooked up to the motherboard. And uh, we should get Windows. There we go. We got the loading. Symbol down there. Back into Windows. That's how easy it was. Not a lot of work on your end if you do your backups. Now you can have corrupt backups, so that's why I suggest doing at least the rule of three. Um, have, <coughs> well, it's, it's like, well, sort of the rule of three. There's like a, I forget what they call the rule, but it's like the three, two, one rule or something like that. So you want three backups, two on site, one off site. So I have like in my main PC, the maker, that's what I call it, is I have one backup within it that covers both the C drive and my A drive, my A drive holds like pictures and, and videos and that's what I work off of that. So I have four drives in my main computer, two of which are NVMe, two of which are SATA based that do the backups. <coughs> so uh, with that, I have one of each in the PC, one for my C drive, one for my A. So I have technically two backups in it, but um, then I have uh, I, I lock away two other ones in a fireproof safe um, and those get backed up about once a month. So I, I back those up again once a month. So I have one for my A, one for my C drive. And then I also, um, I actually have them and I, I, I have two more that are off site. So one for my C, one for my A off site. So they go away, they come back about Oh, I don't know, once a month, once every other month. Um, and I go and get those and then I, I put them in there. I don't use a cloud for my A drive because it's just way too big. Um, I have, uh, you know, at least a couple of terabytes worth of videos and pictures and stuff like that. But plus I have a Synology. So I technically have four backups because I keep my A drive on there too in case something happens to my computer or anything like that. So anyway, at least have a couple of backups just to keep one on site, one off site, just in case, because the one off site protects you from theft, flood and fire. Um, so, or in the very rare event, you get a lightning bolt that comes through and destroys your hard drive. That'd be weird. But anyway, I hope you learned something here and uh, I can't stress enough how to do backups. It's crazy, but um, you saw how easy and quick that was. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, you can be up and running again, especially if you're just doing basic stuff. So, um, yeah, that was, that was pretty fast. So anyway, um, that's going to do it for me, guys. If you feel like leaving a comment, go ahead, right down below, type away, and I will respond. Typically, it can take up to 24 hours. Usually it's not that long for me to approve the comment. And uh, if the comment uh, requires a response, I will respond to it. But it can take up to that long, just depending on uh, the time of day it gets posted or, or I receive it. Um, other than that, give this thing a thumbs up, show some support. And uh, 
share this with your family and friends. And I guess that's it. Until next time, guys, take care.